So today we will talk about the pros and cons of freezing your credit, so stay tuned. My name is Jay and welcome to Ask a Debt Collector, a subsidiary of Clear and Strategic. Now I've been in the debt collection industry for over 15 years. I've done it all from management to owning two debt collection agencies. For the past 10 years, I've been the go-to guy for friends and family for questions regarding debt and credit. And now I wanna be that person for you. If you have any questions, pin them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. For those of you who are new to this channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Let's go. I know there are a lot of companies out there who state that they can delete every single thing off of your credit report. I have to give this disclaimer because I don't want you to mix what I'm talking about with this type of work. Um, if a credit repair company is out there and they're telling you guarantee they can delete every single thing off of your credit report, I would uh, <laughs> go the opposite way from that company. There's no way that any credit repair company can guarantee or any DIY credit repair um, kit can guarantee that every single thing on your credit report will be deleted. That's just not true. Some accounts, they have signed contracts. Some accounts are in fact yours as a consumer. And, um, you know, you may end up having to pay those accounts if, in fact, you know, you want to boost your credit score. Now, a lot of what a lot of these companies will do is, is they will freeze your information with regards to your credit profile through LexisNexis. And so that that way, when you dispute accounts on your credit report, they pull that information from companies like LexisNexis. And what ends up happening is, because they're not able to get that information, um, inevitably the account will be deleted off your credit report. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you as a personal person um, freezing your credit report for specific reasons. And maybe I'll go over some of those reasons with regards to it, but let's give some of the pros and cons with regards to freezing your credit on an individual uh, aspect of yourself and not trying to actually get rid of uh, derogatory um, and inaccurate accounts on your credit profile, but your actual revolving and installment credit profile through um, the three major credit bureaus. We'll talk about the cons first. Um, the first con is not even necessarily that big of a con, but it's something that you may have to do. And that is when you want to freeze your credit um, profile, you may have to contact all three credit bills, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Now, there are cases there. I know through Experian, it's pretty easy. If you have an account through Experian, uh, which is where you get the free annual report or freecreditreport.com, where you get the one free credit report, it's, it's ran by Experian. And to lock your credit profile, I have an account with them. You could just press a button, boom, it'll lock your credit profile. Um, then you would have to contact TransUnion and Equifax, and you could either contact them by phone, or I believe they do have an online situation with regards to that. But if you have to contact them by phone, you get them on the phone, you tell them you want to freeze your credit profile. They may ask why, but nevertheless, you know, you can do it that way, but it just sucks because you have to go through three different channels with regards to freezing your credit profile. And number two, which is um, sort of kind of tough, it's not tough. It's it's a, a light con. I just had to come with some types of something <laughs> to combat the pros. But the number two thing is um, you have to plan ahead to open a new account um, with regards to that credit profile. And so you, if your credit profile is frozen and then you try and apply for credit, you're going to be denied because when they try and access your information, it's going to come back like they're not, it's as your credit profile is locked and therefore you won't be approved for whatever it is, whether it's an installment loan or revolving loan, you will not get approved for that if in fact you have your profile frozen. So if you're going to uh, get a new, if you're going to apply for something new, you have to plan ahead with regards to obviously um, your account being frozen. Now let's get into some of the pros. Number one, and a lot of people have asked me this, but freezing your credit profile will not affect your credit at all, right? So if you, if your credit profile is frozen, as long as you're not trying to apply for any new credit, your revolving accounts as well as your installment accounts, it will not affect it at all. It will not even affect your um, FICO score in general. It's not like freezing your account is going to drop your account like an inquiry will. Um, 
It won't at all. It won't affect your credit or anything along those lines. And with the credit that you have now, you can spend it up and, and use it responsibly. Use your credit cards like debit cards, but you don't have anything to worry with regards to that. Number two is it's free. So in order to freeze your credit profile, I know a lot of times there's fees with regards to a lot of stuff concerning that, but when you're freezing your credit profile, whether you're doing it online or you're calling the companies directly, you're not gonna be charged a fee. It's absolutely free, it doesn't cost you anything with regards to that. Now, if you like the information that we are talking about now, smash that like button as we know it helps with the algorithm to get this video out to more and more people. And if you're brand new to the channel, and you feel that the information is good, consider subscribing. And then the third pro with regards to freezing your credit is it gives you peace of mind from scammers or someone trying to open up an account in your name. The main reason why I would recommend anybody freezes their accounts, which is something that I've been doing as of late, I freeze all three credit bureaus, is it stops from someone trying to open up an account in your name. When you have good credit or your credit's okay, it's nothing worse than somebody fraudulently opening up an account in your name, charging up a credit card or charging up um, an installment loan or something along those lines because everything's done online to find out that it wasn't you. And you have to go and file a police report and all the stuff you have to do in order to get that removed off of your credit uh, profile. So it helps with regards to that. Ultimately, freezing your credit profiles that way with regards to everything. I recommend in all honesty that everyone do freeze your credit report for that specific reason. We're living in a day and age where crooks and so forth are getting more uh, creative with the way that they're able to open up accounts in people's names and do certain things to you by having your credit profile frozen. If someone did get your information, they got a, a you know on the dark web, they got your social security number and an address for you, a lot of times that's all that's needed with regards to open up a credit card. And if they tried to open up a credit card and your accounts were frozen, they will be denied um, for credit, right? Um, and then obviously, even with regards to the inquiry, that won't even show up because when they try and gather that information, it's not gonna give it and therefore saving you with regards to that. Do I recommend you freeze your credit? I've told you guys that I recommend everybody freezes a credit. The key thing is, is once it's time to apply strategically for an, either an installment loan or another revolving loan that you unfreeze your information before and you make sure that the information is unfrozen before you apply because you'll automatically get a denial with regards to that. Now, there is a 20 minute free consultation with regards to credit repair. And th th this is the thing you have to realize. You have to invest in yourself. And by investing in yourself now will help you in your future. It was something, a concept that I didn't get for a while. And then as time progressed, when it came to applying for a home, when it came to applying for a car and getting the best interest rates, I finally understood that the better your credit score is, the better you are. If a person with a 650 credit FICO score versus a person with a 750 FICO score, applying for stuff, that person with the 650 is gonna pay a lot more, thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars more when it comes to applying for these credit cards and using these credit cards or interest rates on car loans and home loans. 1% as we know on a home loan can change your payment almost three to $500. And by having the crate, perfect credit profile to help you out with regards to that. Sign up for a free 20 minute consultation. Allow us to help you out with that. Remember, you deserve to be approved for the credit you want and need. Allow us clear and strategic to help you out with that. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. And as I always state, you be great.